Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into Squintle, which is a visual note-taking app, uh, because I wanted to do an updated review on Squintle, but I also wanted to clarify some things around their new research assistant called Gobu. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I haven't been able to clarify things, but we will do uh, the review and I will talk a little bit about it as I go. So let's start off with the pricing. I've always been a little annoyed at uh, the pricing plans that uh, Squintle offers. Currently, uh, they only offer an annual plan, um, which Reflect does the same thing. So I'm not against it, uh, but it doesn't give you the same like ability to test out the application for a month, uh, see if it fits your workflow. Then if it doesn't, you can decide to not uh go on with the application there is no for free plan i think there is a free trial but this uh pricing page uh, if i just go back to the home page and back to the pricing page again you can see that this is the pricing page and it doesn't tell me that much uh, i can see that uh, there is a student uh, discount uh, i can see the payment uh, methods uh, and i can also see the refund policy uh they only offer refund, refunds within the first seven days, which, like, you could probably uh, test out the application for seven days, then uh, get a refund. But I think, I think there is, like, a free trial. Um, you also get Gobu, uh, which is the new research assistant, which analyzes articles uh, following academic best practices. Uh, study with greater efficiency, follow every piece of information back to its source, engage and work with your writing better than ever before. So this is great if you do a lot of uh, research. Uh, so uh, this is uh, Squintle. And let's actually just start off with Gobu because I tested out Gobu a while back on a video. You can see that this is my source right here, which is a PDF because... Um, Squintle actually comes with a PDF reader, so I can zoom in and out here. Uh, let's just zoom back out. So you could actually read your PDFs in here as well, uh, because it comes with a PDF reader. But here I've actually ha had uh, Gobu make a summary for me. Let's actually zoom in to see this more clearly. So here you can see that it has made a summary for me. I can click this to change up things. I can find key results. Uh, I think this uh, this is included in the researcher plan. So what happens if I click this? Uh, so I can ch add a research focus and run the analysis again. Uh, so this wasn't available the last time I tested it out. But basically, I can get the key results. I can get the concepts. I can get the summary of the article. Uh, and I can also get the notes here and I actually did this inside of Gobu and not inside of Squintle but it uh, like they work together at least that's what it seems like currently there has been an issue um, with Squintle not uh, like uh, giving out enough information about uh, about this new Gobu and what will happen to Squintle and will they work together but they have released updates to Squintle after uh, they released Gobu so my guess is that it will continue to work. Uh, a couple of my, uh, things to keep in mind is that there is still no mobile app here uh, which is annoying that's why I ended up not using uh, not using uh, Squintle simply because there was just no mobile app available. Let's jump into the My Desk space here, because instead of a daily note, which you get inside of many other applications, you get uh, a My Desk view, and you could basically create daily notes here as well. Uh, it isn't that uh, it is impossible to create daily notes, but it comes with sort of a My Desk that is supposed to work uh, similarly to, uh, to uh, a daily note. This is like a temporary space where you can add things and you can move them in to a board later because this application revolves around docs which is documents and boards which is basically just boards uh, so uh, if we go back to the my desk space here there are uh, boards you can create here there are documents you can also explore the templates and I actually really like the templates here you can create what's called a daily note which is basically 
a document with today's uh, date and like uh, a little bit of information so you could just create this uh, yourself instead of using the templates but it is much easier to use the templates you can also uh, get things like atomic notes annual roadmap and some of these are actually really good so if i do the annual roadmap one you can see that this one is actually really good um it is more like a timeline view of your projects which i really like so basically what this does for you is that it gives you a space to actually create whatever you want and need. Uh, and that is what makes this Squintle experience really good. It is, if you compare it to something uh, like, if you compare it to something like, um, like Heptabase, which is like the other huge uh, visual note-taking application for text um, this is much more versatile in my opinion so here you can see my workflow which i used for youtube videos this was back in in january and um, basically the way this works is that i can drag things in like a kanban board and uh this these text right here i turn them into documents as like i'm ready to work on the idea because you can add text like this and you can then just write test note for example and then i can turn this into uh another color and uh, i can also then turn it into a document if i ever want that so i can create a document instead uh, is basically what I'm saying. So instead of uh, having these text things right here, I would create documents whenever I was ready to work on something. And I could do this for like all of my social media stuff. So you can see it here. It is basically an infinite canvas that you can almost do whatever you want uh, on. I like the fact that this is much better at images because there are... Uh, multiple ways of doing it uh, which wasn't the same case uh, as uh, for a heptabase because instead of adding the document to or adding the image to a document i can actually pick an image type from here and just upload it like this and have an image type instead of a document with an image inside of it um, that is a really cool feature um, this also works for things like videos, expos, I can add code blocks here and just paste my code in there. Uh, so there are multiple different things I can do. Uh, I can tag my notes uh, and there is also an ability to put a note inside of another note so it can live uh, inside this note as well. Um, that is also a feature I like. So if I just zoom in, uh, I can, let's say I wanted to uh, open this up and display it as a snippet. This is actually a tweet. I could drag this and add this on top and you can see that it starts linking things together. You can also link by doing this. Uh, but uh, there are like multiple things that happen here. Um, you can see that when I click this, you can see that this is the same note and therefore you get a link. So there are many like things like that uh, that I really like. I also like this ability to see how everything is connected together. Um, I think that is basically all of the features, all of the main features I really like because I am a big fan of this application. I just wish they could have a mobile application and instead of adding a research assistant i get that they do it because a lot of their users are researchers and people who uh, at least are really into uh, researching and uh, it makes sense that they would like something like this inside of Scrintle. Uh, it just isn't for my uh, use case uh, i also don't like the yearly commitment uh, of the pricing plan like having to pay uh, yearly but the application in itself is really really good and i am a big fan of the ex uh, application and the experience inside of it i just wish there was a mobile app if there was a mobile application i would probably use this um but currently there isn't uh and it's it, is, it has been hard for me to capture stuff and things like that so 
Uh, that is basically the only issue I have, as well as like the communication part. I wish they were better at that, so we knew uh, what the roadmap looked like and what the plans were for the future. Um, and uh, like just an explanation, because they closed uh, their community, they had a Slack community, which they closed without a proper explanation, just things like that would have been great. But the application in itself is really, really good. Uh, so I will keep an eye on it to see uh, where this continues to go. But I think that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching.